Warning, this story contains an image that some readers may find distressing. Police have released more CCTV as they continue to search for the armed gunman who tried to shoot dead former Mongol spiky Sam Abdul Rahim in Melbourne's north. Police have shared footage of a black Ford Focus they want to track down, weeks after they released vision of two men of interest in the shooting investigation. Detectives say they believe the Ford, which was caught on camera traveling along Barry Road in Coolaroo on Saturday, June 25, the day of the shooting, was connected to the shooters. Read more, CCTV shows moment car sends van rolling in Melbourne hit and run on the CCTV footage. The Ford can be seen traveling westbound on Barry Road, opposite Upfield train station, at 9. 49 a.m., before it traveled back in the opposite direction at 9. 55 m. Doc police say they believe the car is connected to the males who were in a Mazda SUV when they fired shots into Abdul Rahim's Mercedes on Box Forest Road in Faulkner shortly before noon that day. The driver of the Mazda then fled the scene of the shooting and crashed into a fire hydrant and pole on Box Forest Road near Sydney Road. Two men jumped out of from the damaged Mazda, with one running and attempting to hide in a bin at the rear of a KFC restaurant on Sydney Road in Faulkner. The other man carjacked a nearby Ford Territory wagon before driving it to Epping, where he was captured on CCTV walking the streets. The Ford Territory was located in Brunswick Drive, Epping about 10 p.m. The carjacking victims, a woman and child, were not physically injured. Police are calling for the public's help to find the Ford and say they still want to hear from anyone who might have information on the men captured in the CCTV released earlier this month. Abdul Rahim, who is also known as the The Punisher, was shot in the chest four times during the attack. The 30-year-old Preston man managed to drive himself to Faulkner Police Station with gunshot wounds. He was then rushed to hospital in a critical condition. However, he managed to recover from his injuries. Police are confident the shooting was a targeted attack. Anyone who witnessed the incident, with CCTV slash dash cam footage or with information on the vehicle or the men in these images is urged to contact police.